be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back with, that with bangers. Now today's video, I'm gonna be going over an often overlooked mixing tip when it comes to mixing your beats. So this is a tip that most people know about, but we overlook it, okay? We minimalize it. And the tip is to use what's called a reference track when mixing your music. Now, based on copyright and everything like that, I'm actually just gonna only be using one of my beats to demonstrate um, what I'm talking about by using the reference track. But just so you know, what you would wanna do is find a beat or a song that kind of matches the vibe of what beat you're mixing, but that's already professionally mixed. So you wanna to go to a, like a, a Spotify, Apple Music, one of those different type of streaming platforms and find a song or a beat that matches the vibe of what you're doing, okay? And use that as a reference, okay? So that's not all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna kind of go into more detail of it, but just to demonstrate this, I'm gonna actually go ahead and I'm gonna bring in a mix or bring in some stems. And I'm actually gonna use, let's see, this beat right here is cool. I just now finished this one. So what I'll do is just to demonstrate this by just pulling, pulling, these, uh, pulling these stems in and then I'm also going to go ahead and pull in the actual, um, what we will call a reference track. Now, obviously, this is my beat, so it's not necessarily going to be the same type of deal here, but just kind of use your imagination because I don't want to, you know, get copyrighted trying to demonstrate this. But what you would do is you got your mix here, right? And you're basically gonna A, B the mix with this reference track. So the, the trick with this is though, is to listen for certain things, okay? There's about three major things you're gonna listen for when it comes to the mix and et cetera. First thing is levels, okay? You wanna pay attention to where certain things are sitting in the mix on this already professional track which which we'll call a reference track so you know if the kick if you can listen to it and the kick is like sitting way above the music in your particular genre or vibe or beat then that's what you want to match if it's like kind of tucked under maybe some of the other sounds you want to pay attention to that how loud the snare is claps hi-hats okay so leveling that's the first thing that you really want to focus on is paying attention to that taking notes and then applying that to your beat mix second is panning okay you want to pay attention to where uh these professional engineers producers whatever are panning their instruments so if you're listening to the to the track and it's like okay i hear that this is pan hard left or this was pan hard right um i, I see that the opens hi-hat is panned to the left and the, the regular hi-hat is panned to the right hard or whatever. You want to pay attention to all those things and then take what you're listening to and apply it to your beat, okay? And a third thing I would say that you're going to want to pay attention to, though, is effects, okay? So basically, we got leveling, panning, and effects. Pay attention to those three things when it comes to using your reference tracks to help you with your, make, your beat mix. Anyway, we'll just go ahead and we will listen to a portion of this beat and um, just kind of see like, okay, where is everything sitting? So let me just go ahead and play it and then we, I can just show you what I'm talking about here. So it's kind of a crazy beat or whatever, but you can definitely hear certain things uh, that can be changed up here. First off with leveling, um, you know, that 808 is punching pretty loud. So like, obviously you want to turn off your reference track, you know, while your beat is playing, but you know, 
you want to kind of just pay attention. Okay, cool. This 808 is punching like this. Let me turn that up so now. Then you can also like listen to it again and be like, okay, well, let's listen to it and see where the kick is hitting. cool so that kind of mimics a little bit what's going on over here and you just get the, the you get the picture here you would go through each of these sounds and you want to basically make sure that's the that you know kind of mimics what we got going on over here Hi-hats are something very important to pay attention to, like where they're positioning the hi-hats, like level-wise, um, is, is important because sometimes you can, you know, have those hi-hats too loud or sometimes even too soft. So you want to make sure you have that good balance just using the reference track as your basically reference. <laughs> And then you can go over here and listen to this one. All right, so let's just like, again, for demonstration purposes, let's just kind of like assume that I already kind of figured out what the levels are. Let's go ahead and move to panning. If you listen to this beat, um, let's listen to it again. You got it. So you can kind of hear some stuff tucked over to the left and the right uh, with the hi-hats. Like I believe the hi-hats are kind of like a little bit over here to the right. I got like the rolls tucked over here. Um, got another one over here. I think I did another one right here. And the uh, uh, open hi-hat is tucked over to the left or right too. So you just want to pay attention to that and see like exactly where they're doing it. Okay, and it will just help you pay attention to your mix and see what sounds right or wrong. And that's a little too loud. Okay, so those are some tips. And then, of course, you want to also pay attention to if there's like a, a certain reverb that's not even a certain reverb, but like, let's say if you listen to the beat and you're like, man, okay, I hear they put reverb on uh, this this uh, rim shot, or I see that they put, or I hear that they put reverb on the melody a little bit, um, or on just this roll right here. Those are the things you want to take note of and then see what you can do to apply it to your own production. Now, I'm not going to go through you know, actually mixing this beat. I'm giving y'all a lot of mixing beat videos where I'm actually going through live and doing that. But I just want to give y'all some tips, man. And hopefully this video helped you out. Um, basically, again, what you want to do is once you get your beat, you want to find another professionally mixed and mastered beat that's already released. Um, you can go to, uh, you know, Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, you know, any of those type of streaming platforms, whatever you have a subscription to find it and then what you could do or you can go to youtube and you want to you know listen to it you don't necessarily have to drag it into logic but you want to basically have it where you can a b it play it over here and listen to it for maybe five ten minutes then come back to the mix you know those type of things are going to really help you um make sure that you get subscribed to the channel if you're brand new thank you so much for watching and if you don't do anything else Go ahead and slash on over, not slash, but slide on over to our website, beatmakingbases.com. We have full video courses that give in-depth uh, information on how to make beats, how to mix, um, you know, arrange your music, a whole lot of cool different things you'll be able to do after taking those courses. I also have some sound packs that are 100% royalty free. So go ahead and go to beatmakingbases.com. Check that out. And yeah, get subscribed to the channel, man. Appreciate you all, and I will see you in the next video.